Don't limit yourself to drawing conclusions after only analyzing people, businesses, or anything else that succeeded. For example, in the world of finance, successful stock traders are frequently put on a pedestal. They're interviewed and praised for their success, others point to them when trying to get the idea across that anyone can succeed, and so on. Can you become a successful trader? Sure. Is it likely? No. Those who only analyze successful traders are committing a logical error called survivorship bias. As the name suggests, they're only looking at traders who quote-unquote survived while ignoring those who lost money and gave up. A more thorough research process which revolves around, let's say, also reading papers about success rates and longevity when it comes to this career, will unfortunately reveal that the overwhelming majority of retail or, if you will, average Joe traders lose money. A straightforward conclusion arises. There's nothing wrong with wanting to become a successful trader as long as you know what you're getting yourself into. In other words, if your decision to become a trader, invest in a certain company, gain exposure to an asset class or anything else is based on sound reasoning and thorough research rather than things like motivational videos involving success stories.